So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my three day trading rules for finding A plus setups. So this is the exact rules I follow. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over a trade recap I took today and showing you how I implemented these rules into actually taking this trade. So hopefully you guys can get some free value and education out of this video. All right, so the first rule I have for finding A plus setups when it comes to day trading is going to be only entering at key levels, okay? So basically there's two types of key levels. The first one is supply and demand, um, support and resistance, whatever you wanna call it. This is like the lower and higher extreme. This is where I have my lines on the chart. So for example, if I go to the chart today, we can see that this 4167 to 74, that is the higher extreme and this 4130 to around, you know, 112, that is the lower extreme. So I basically only want to enter trades at these two higher extremes. That's going to give me the best probability. Now, sometimes what will happen if I go back here, price will be stuck in the middle of the range, or maybe I just want to take a trade um, when we're not at the extreme. Then I'll be looking for more intraday aggressive buying and selling. If we go back to the chart here, we can see uh, this is where I have my red boxes. So we can see uh, this red box, we had aggressive selling. So, you know, chances are this is going to be good resistance. Uh, right here, we had aggressive selling. You can see this is a large aggressive candle. And as you can see, this is acting as a resistance pretty much the past few hours or so. So that's the first rule is I'm only wanting to enter at key levels. Now, the second rule I have for myself, as you can see, is gauge what the market does at these key levels of interest, right? So these are basically confirmations. Now, me personally, I don't think it matters what confirmations you use. You just have to find what works best for you, but you got to make sure you only use them when they're at key levels. Okay. So some of the confirmations I use is patterns, right? Maybe it's a double top, a double bottom, a head and shoulders. Maybe it's VIX divergence. Maybe it's a five minute reversal candle, VIX, price slowing down a 30 minute, right? Or maybe it's a high day, low day bids doesn't matter, use whatever confirmations that work for you. So for example, if I go inside my Discord community, one of the plans I had today was basically those two extreme levels, the key levels I just showed you. One of them was at 4130 to 12 area to see how price reacts there. This was a demand zone and I said, same thing goes for this. We already have multiple touches here, so we have to wait and see what happens. So now if I go back to the chart, we can see that once we got inside of the zone, we started to see buyers. We started to see price slowing down. So if I go into our one minute chart, um, I'll actually show you the trade I took today. So the first trade I took was this right here. We got down to the zone. Um, you know, I basically broke even on this trade because I took some profit up here and then we started to sell off. So basically this is just a break even trade. And then we started to come down here again, right? And what you'll notice is if we go back to the five minute chart, um, you know, we are still in a demand zone, right? So basically we formed a nice double bottom. So this is one of the confirmations I use to actually get in this trade as well. So as you can see, we came down here and price was just failing to go lower. And then as soon as we got this pop up, right? Now we knew that there was actually buyers there. So once we sold off again, uh, this is one of my confirmations was a double bottom inside of a demand zone, right? So now it's following both of my rules. So it was okay for me to actually take this trade. And this is actually where I entered, uh, basically when this candle closed right here at around 41.26. And then the last rule I have, let's go to rule number three is actually managing the trade, right? So once you actually establish your key levels of interest, you know whether to get in the trade or not from your confirmations, rule number three is actually managing the trade. So. For me, right, the first thing is where are you gonna put your stop loss? I usually do five points above or below. Um, so for example, the low here was around 41.21. So since I got in at 26, I waited for that confirmation. I had my stop just below 20. Um, so that was basically my risk. And if I go back to my rule, right, basically I wanna take profits at key imbalance levels. So I'm looking to get 10, 10 points, 20 points, and 30 points, wherever it is. And as we can see, if we go back to the one minute chart, um, let's zoom in here. 
okay? As we can see, I entered around right here at 126. The first level of imbalance was this red box, right? So this is my first place I took profits. That gave me about 10 points, which is a good trade. Even if I took a loss on this trade, I still would have been up nicely on the day. And then from there, you know, the second key imbalance level was, where did we have aggressive selling? At this level right here, this red box. So as soon as we got here, I just had a limit order and then sold a few more contracts. And then my third and final target we haven't hit yet, which is this next red box way up here, which would net me around 20 points on the trade. And another thing I have on here is if a trade feels off, keep in mind, you can always take it off. You can always take the risk off and re-enter later. You know, some people think that if you enter a trade, you have to stay in it, right? It's okay to be a little bit flexible if it doesn't feel right. So anyways, guys, these are my three rules for finding A plus setups. This is basically the system I use to trade. And really like I said, the most important part is just establishing key levels, right? Where are the extreme highs? Where are the extreme lows? And ideally you would want to short at the extreme highs and long at the extreme lows. As you can see from the past couple of days, uh, this would have worked very nicely. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And real quick before you go, if you wanna see my exact trading plan, my exact levels every single day, I post it inside my Discord. It's a completely free community open to the public where you can network and chat with all kinds of other traders including myself and be able to see my pre-market plan. So anyways, if you do want free access to the community, just click on the first link in the description below or just head over to this link right here. With that being said, guys, if you have any questions for me, put it in the comments below, happy to answer anything. And with that being said, be sure to subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video.